Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. 10 Extreme Industrial Machines Ever Made Man vs. Machine That's what Hollywood wants us to believe. We are always fighting our greatest creation, and like in movies such as iRobot and Transformers, these industrial machines have a deep-seated desire to dominate the Earth. But what happens when man and machine decide to play ball? What happens when our creation works in harmony with us? Well, we create robots like the Terminator and Michael Fassbender's David. What can you do, David? I can do almost anything that could possibly be asked of me. <laughs> All right, I'm just kidding. But there are some crazy machines that we do create. So if you love gigantic and enormous industrial machines with different cogs and wheels, then this is the video for you. Here are 10 extreme industrial machines built from human ingenuity and brilliance. You won't believe our top pick because it's a complete contradiction of itself. Number 10, the Bagger 288, rough and tough. We kick things off with this behemoth of a machine. What do you get when you combine German efficiency with an overactive imagination? Um, some really big set of wheels, like really big. The Bagger 288 was built by the German company Krupp to be applied in the mining and energy industry by another German company, Rheinbronn. This massive bucket wheel excavator was designed to be used as a mobile strip mining machine. Um, which is kind of like a machine used to mine hard minerals like diamond. So, how long did it take to build this massive industrial bad boy? Well, construction of this engineering marvel began in 1978, and by the time it was done, it had surpassed the Big Muskie as the heaviest land vehicle at a whopping 13,500 tons. It's very strong, and uh, if uh, anything stuck here, it is uh, very probable to, for the wire to break. The design and the construction of the machine took engineers and workers more than 10 years to complete and cost somewhere in the range of $100 million. So what are the dimensions of this colossus? Well, the Bagger 288 is 225 meters long, 46 meters wide, and a jaw-dropping 96 meters tall. For this machine to be moved to its respective construction or excavation site, it has to be propelled by 12 massive caterpillar tracks that can reach a top speed of up to 10 meters a minute. While this might seem slow, it's pretty efficient considering the caterpillars are carrying more than 13,000 tons in weight. For over three decades, the Bagger 288 held the record for being the largest and heaviest excavator before it was superseded by the NASA Crawler Transporter. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! Number 9, the Tyson Cranes. What a monster! Another massive gargantuan on our list and a worthy contender of the biggest machine in the world is the Tyson Cranes. When building big machines, you'll need something massive to help you move these enormous industrial behemoths around, right? So the Tyson Cranes hold the record for being the most powerful cranes in the world and therefore can lift virtually everything you can possibly think of. Maybe even Thor's hammer. Located at the Yantai Raffle Shipyard in China, the Tyson Cranes are every construction worker's fantasy. In fact, the Tyson Cranes can lift even the Bagger 288. Large, complex projects in the safest, fastest, and most efficient way. As they boast a payload of over 20,000 tons. Number 8, the NASA Crawler 1, Giant Step. When a crawler is designed specifically to move entire rockets during space exploration, you bet it's going to be humongous. Yes, the NASA crawler has been around for more than 50 years, and it is one of the true wonders of the industrial world. From its dimensions, you can clearly tell that it was built for heavy lifting. Measuring 40 meters in length, 35 meters in width, and weighs an astounding 2,720 tons. The crawler was first built during the height of the space expeditions by NASA and was to be used to transport NASA rockets from one site to another. 
it moves at a modest one mile per hour. And one of the two crawlers currently in active duty has even clocked more than 2,207 miles. Number 7. La Princess. She's a delicate flower. At number 7, we have a cool but bizarre machine. Probably something that you would find in Frankenstein's laboratory, if it was big enough. Oh, and we're just putting it out there, if you suffer from arachnophobia, then this machine might be the stuff of your nightmares. The giant machine that you're seeing is called La Princess. No, we're not kidding, you heard that right. She's a mechanical spider that weighs an astounding 37 tons and stands 50 feet in length. While she is no doubt massive, her creators engineered her to move gracefully thanks to 50 axes built inside that improve the flow of hydraulic movement. But building such a behemoth requires a lot of manpower and dedication, right? Indeed, La Princess is so massive that she requires at least 12 people to operate her at any given moment. And how do the engineers transport her when they need to attend a show or event? Well, to move her from one place to another, they employ up to 16 cranes, 8 cherry pickers, and a crew of more than 250 men. Number 6. The Queen of the Netherlands Nope, this is not a gigantic machine statue of the former Queen of the Netherlands, but rather a hopper dredging ship that was constructed around 1998. And boy, is she massive. Upon the completion of her construction, she was weighed in at a mind-blowing 33,423 tons. And that's not all, her dead weight is placed at more than 60,000 tons. But what about her dimensions? This behemoth of a dredger measures more than 230.71 meters long and 32 meters wide. She is so massive that you can track her with radar anywhere she is around the world. Number 5. Fast When you hear the word fast, you'd think we are talking about the world's biggest and fastest industrial machines, right? That's not the case. Fast is, in fact, the world's largest telescope. Hey science geeks, we're dedicating this one right to you. You see, FAST stands for 500 Meter Aperture Spherical Telescope and it is a radio telescope that is located in China. She is specifically located in the Daodang Depression in Pintong County within southwest China. As the world's largest and most sensitive radio telescope, FAST was officially opened in 2016 but underwent numerous tests before being commissioned. She is now officially open for business and is expected to be put into space exploration use as soon as possible. Number 4. The Overburden Conveyor Bridge F-60 This monster right here holds the title for being the biggest conveyor bridge in the world. And it ain't no pushover. Standing at a jaw-dropping 502 meters in length, the entire structure is truly an unshakable presence. It's a 202 meter wide, 80 meter tall structure that dwarfs nearly every industrial machine around. And at 11,000 tons, the overburden truly feels no burden when it comes to lifting and carrying heavy loads. This beast was built in East Germany in 1991 by Veb Tachgraf Lockhammer and has maintained a prolific presence ever since. Number 3. The Prelude for many years, Emma Maersk has held the undisputed title for being the world's largest ship. That is, until the powerful and magnificent Prelude came along and clinched the title as the largest ship in the world. She was first launched in South Korea, and her massive size and intimidation shocked the crowd that had gathered during the ceremony. What a massive piece of engineering the tabloids read! The Prelude isn't really a ship, rather a floating natural gas facility. She stands at an impressive 487 meters long. What about her height? Well, if the Prelude was laid side by side with the Empire State Building, it would be 45 meters taller. When fully loaded with goods, the Prelude weighs an impressive 60,000 tons.
And now we've come to the best pick of the day. Don't you feel tiny already? Yep, this right here is a giant machine that is nearly 100 times larger than its owner. We bet it makes work much easier and faster on the construction site. Just change a few gears here and there and you're good to go. Number 2. Big Bertha When the Big Bertha tunnels a hole, it does so with so much size and power. Indeed, the Bertha is the world's largest tunnel boring machine. She dwarfs any of her competitors, boasting a total length of 300 feet and spanning more than 5 stories high. Apart from her impressive size, she is also a hefty machine, boasting a weight of 7,000 tons required to be shipped between work sites. She is so massive that her 17.5 meter diameter could easily swallow the world's second largest borer. Bonus: The Giant Bucket Wheel Excavator Before we get to our number one spot, here's a special treat for all of you that are fans of giant machines. In second place, we have the world's second largest machine, the Mighty Giant Bucket Wheel Excavator, or famously known as the Bagger 293. This Titan is no pushover and has been making rounds since it was first built in Germany in 1995. So what are its dimensions? Well, it stands at 96 meters tall and boasts a length of 225 meters. It also weighs an impressive 14,061 tons, making it a noteworthy Titan among giants. And number one, the Large Hadron Collider is enormous. And now we've come to the machine that you've all been waiting for. The Large Hadron Collider is the largest man-made machine in the world to this very date. So what does it do? It might sound funny, maybe even ironic, but the Large Hadron Collider is actually constructed to study one of the tiniest things in the world. Are you ready for it? Subatomic particles. Pretty cool, right? Yep, this humongous particle accelerator has a circumference of 27 kilometers and is buried 175 meters below the ground in Geneva, Switzerland. And scientists at the center are putting plans in place to ensure a newer and more upgraded version of this particle accelerator will be built. And rumor has it that it will be four times larger. So, if my math serves me right, this means that the new particle accelerator will have a circumference of 108 meters. Wow, don't you feel tiny already? That being said, let us know which one of these beastly behemoths you would love to drive or maybe even operate or just see. Let us know in the comment section down below. Want more videos that would probably still exist until the end of time? Click on any of the videos you see on the screen. As always, Thanks for watching.